Hey everybody, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use the notification templates inside of InstaSites. So the first section that we're going to focus on is the email templates right here. So this is pretty much, um, it's pretty easy to use guys when we made it that way because we know things like this can get complex and we really want to make it easy for everybody to use. So um, if you want to go ahead and just create a new email template, um, essentially there won't be anything here if you don't have any templates. In this case, I have some templates. It'll just say start typing to create your email template, okay? So all you got to do is, first thing I want to do is um, create a subject line for my email, right? So as you can see here, I can completely customize the email subject the body of the email and I can have the reply to field, right? So if they, for some reason, reply back to the email that you're sending them, it'll go straight to you, whatever email that's in here, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna customize this and I wanna use merge tags, okay? Now, for those of you guys who do not know what merge tags is, merge tags is essentially the pieces of data um, that are inside or that you've used to upload inside to build your Insta site, right? So business, it's pretty self-explanatory. Business name will be the business name um, of the prospect that you're trying to build the website for. Phone will be the phone number of the prospect that you're trying to build the website for. Same thing with email. First name is a prospect's first name. Last name is a prospect's last name. Street address for the prospect's business, the address to field, uh, city, state, zip code, and country. These are all pieces of information um, for the prospect, right? Then preview link is the actual website link, right? That's the most important one. Um, and then here you have your agency name, your agency phone number, and your agency's email address, okay? So these are all merge tags, and in the future, we also plan on adding more, more, uh, more and more merge tags as uh, the platform grows. So let's just say I wanna create a crafty email subject and say, um, um, new website for and then I want to drop in the business name I just hover over this and just click on it and it'll automatically inject the business name here and I'll add a little exclamation point after that right so let's make this a little bit bigger let's come up with a little crafty email heading so I want to say hey and then I'm gonna drop in the, the person's first name now keep in mind this is a template so whatever the person's first name and on the site that you're building it'll automatically inject their first name into this area okay so we say, hey, and then let's say Bobby, if that Bobby's his name. Um, I wanted to take the time to build a brand new website for, let's drop in the business name here, dot, dot, dot. I think I would be a great fit to handle your online marketing needs. So I decided to build you a custom website for free. Let's put in his their first name. So let's say Bobby. Here is the link to business name so let's say Bobby the uh, Bobby the painters um, to here is a link to Bobby the painters brand new website all right and then I'll just do that and then I'll just once again I'll click the preview link and it'll drop the preview link in here okay looking forward to potentially doing business with you drop in their first name again Bobby now keep in mind guys if you're not uh, if you don't have the first name of the person right don't use this merge tag create a separate template you can create unlimited templates here okay create a separate template for that if you know maybe create one that says uh, template and then in parentheses no first name and then you'll know to craft this up without the first name right you can completely customize this however you'd like right Looking forward to potentially doing business with you. And then you can even say something like this. P.S. Um, just reply back and let me know what you think of, the, of your new website. Website when you get a sec. And then we can say... Uh, Best regards, 
uh, and I can do this like Chad Kaderi um, and I think uh, the next uh, merge tags that we're adding is name so those will probably be in here too like agency owner's name or something like that username uh, and then we can say um, I'll drop in my agency name here I'll drop in my agency phone number and my email address um, and then also the agency website we're also doing here so those are two things that are on the list probably gonna come out in the next couple of days um, if you're watching this video they're probably already out um, so what's cool about this is I can literally customize this the way that I want so let's say I want to say like um, I want to bold this right best regards and then these are spread out a little bit too much so I'm just gonna go in here and uh, I'm just gonna completely customize this so if you guys have ever used like you done Craigslist posts in the past right it's as simple as just like knocking these out and um, I'll just put like some breaks in here knock these out knock these out get a couple break elements in here uh, I will click save and then bam it knocked out all of the spacing that was in between that um, I actually want to knock out the spacing that's in between here as well um, so this preview link sits right under it without any spacing so I'll just go back over to the code element and I see the preview link here um, I'll just knock this out and uh, I'll knock this out so closing tags and I'll leave the uh, opening uh, paragraph tag and then I'll have the closing paragraph tag in here and then bam it's done and then I can even bold this because this is an important part so um, I now have my email right here's my title new website for and then it'll inject the business name in here um, hey first name or hey Bobby I wanted to take the time to build a brand new website for Bobby the painter I think it would be a great fit. I think I would be a great fit to handle your online marketing needs. So I decided to build you a custom website for free. Bobby, here's a link to the brand new. Uh, here, here is a link to Bobby the Painter's brand new website, and then that will be the link to the website where you can go and you can view it on you know mobile, tablet, all that cool stuff. You can even view it from his mobile phone. Look forward to potentially doing business with you, Bobby. P.S. Just reply back and let me know what you think of your web of your new website. Uh, when you get a sec, best regards, Chad Kaderi, and then I'll have all my agency's information here. Now here I want to put my email. So you want to put my, you know, put whatever your agency email is or whatever you want. If Bobby responds to this email, once you fire this email out, um, where is that going to go, right? So you want to put myagencyemail.com, right? Whatever your email address is, you're going to put that in here. Once you have that, you just click save and it's going to tell you to, you know, click the uh, template. So you can say um, first name template as an example because it's an email where I have the first name. I'll click accept and then we'll see that right here. There's a first name template, right? Now, if I want to go back and let's say I want to edit that, I just go in here. I just go to the drop down. I click first name template and let's just say I want to put a dot, dot, dot in here and uh, an exclamation point in here and I want to make those edits. Once I do that, I just go up here and I just click update and I click yes. That's it. And it's all updated now. So that's how simple it is to use. If you want to delete any templates, like let's say I don't like this template. I just click right here. I'll delete it. And then it's gone. Bam. That's it. Okay. So it's as simple as that. And it's the same thing to do right here in the SMS credit. So like just go in and let's create a brand new template, right? Um, hey, Bobby. Let's drop in um, Bobby. Oh, what am I doing here? Uh, hey Bobby, here's the link to your new website. Oh, can't spell it today. Here's the link to your new website, right? And then you can just go ahead and just drop in the preview link right there. Okay. Now, one thing I want you guys to be aware of is our SMS credits. Each 160 characters you send out is one SMS credit. Okay, because that's what the integration can can hold. Okay, so. The preview link alone is uh, 45 characters, right? So if you're going to use this, maybe like open up a new tab and go to like wordcounter.net or .com or something like that and just get like a word count for all this and make sure that you're below 160. Um, that way for every one of these messages that you send out, you only it just charges you one SMS credit, which is normal, right? So like this would work perfectly fine. Now, one thing you also want to be aware of is we don't know what the first name is. It's going to be injected in here. It can be like a long first name. We, if you're going to drop in like a business name, right? We don't know how long this business name can be. This business name alone can be like 50 characters, right? So just be cautious of that, okay, guys? Now, this will still send out if you have 500 characters as an example. Uh, it's just going to charge you multiple credits. So every 160 characters that get sent out, it will charge you one SMS credit. So just want you guys to be aware of that. And that's pretty much it, guys. So hopefully this helps you out with the notification templates. It's as easy as that. Uh, to set up and customize your email and SMS notification templates. Have a good one.